welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe, notification bell, share, like, tell a friend. So hi, um, welcome back to the channel. Um, earlier, maybe two, three weeks ago, one of my subscribers I want to know is what's that pace? But it's not really a pace, it's a marinade that goes in and it can put in anything. So I want to make you guys, you know, a batch of that marinade or paste, whatever you guys call it, so you can see it. So let's get into the ingredients. I got garlic right here, okay? This is not enough garlic to go in what I'm making. I'm gonna put some chopped garlic that I have in the fridge that I buy from the store. I got onion, okay? Over here we got some rosemary. It's just a lot of herbs, you know, to make it nice. We got parsley. We got a lot of thyme. We got escalion, you know what I'm saying? And if you have um, cilantro, you can put a bunch of cilantro in there and and now I'm going to put a little bit of pepper flakes in mine as well. Just give it a little kick. And we have oil. You can use any oil you want. This is not really the best oil to use. You want to really use the cheapest oil anyway. But this is what I have. This or grapeseed. I'd rather go with this because the grapeseed, you know, I need it for another thing. And I put a little bit of salt in there as well. You can put anything in your marinade. Any kind of herbs. The flavor you like. The flavor you want it to be like. Okay. So in, the, in here already we got some skillet and some onion in here already inside and you want it to blend a way that is smooth or you can make it like half smooth so you can get a little bit like rough rub into it so there's some little bits like some stuff for you to crunch to get a bite into when you get all crispy when you roast whatever or if you're cooking you still have a little bit you know to play with but i normally make mine smooth as i, as I can because normally i season my stuff once or twice during the whole process of cooking so Let's get into it, okay? So these, you want to make sure you take this off, okay? Because it's not going to blend. You're going to be eating sticks and stems. You know what I'm saying? You already said no stems. You already know what time it is. Yeah. So you want to pull off this. And I got way too much rosemary right here. So I'm going to save a piece of my tea or... You know what I'm saying? To give to Solomon, because he was one of the wisest men. Alright? So, do that. Okay. The time, it all depends. If the time is like big, you want to do the same thing. But these times are perfect. See that? They're easy to bend, so you know they're easy to do. To blend in the blender. Alright? So, taking all this out. You can put them in there just like that, but i rather... To just kind of um, chop it a little so it's more easier for the blender to do what the blender do, okay? So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut that a little bit with the knife right here. So, so when it go in there, it's easier you know, for the blender to do what it does. You know what I'm saying? And if you realize the oil is kind of becoming like... Um, too thick, let's add a little bit of warm water to it while you blend it. You know, normally I add a little bit of water to mine when I'm blending it. Just go ahead and drop these. These stay out, okay? These are sticks, you don't want them in there. In the blender. You're probably asking why I put the salt in mine. I just extra seasoning. You don't need it. Well, you just season it. So you can put as much as you want. You, know, you can make, I'm trying to make like one quart container like this for. All right, so this is the amount. Pepper for sure. If you, if, if, if I like to put this in mine, if you don't have this, you can put one of this in yours. You know what I'm saying? All right. So. Put a little bit of that because this kind of give it a different color as well, you know. Change the color of it so it doesn't look that green, you know. Put some of this in here. 
because you want it to blend so when it blend everything kind of come together and i'm going to add a little bit of water in here just to show you guys you know how to go with the water and to blend all right so let's add a little bit of water in here and you will know if you need more water because all of this give up give off a lot of water anyway because 70 60 percent of whatever in here is water because it's all like herbs and stuff vegetable okay so we're gonna make some nice with the blender now so you know we do all right for it too you can know when it's ready you know what i'm saying it's just so like it's like foaming like that it's ready if it's not giving you that kind of foaming sound like it's not ready because it's still fighting to be smooth when it's smooth it's kind of more like give you a fluff like you know, you know when you're boiling porridge something like that all right so let's look at the finishing touch and see what it looks like so that's what we're talking about no sticks, no stems, okay? No sticks, no stems. And if it's soft enough, then you can put it in. But if it's not soft enough, don't even try to put it in there, because you're gonna lose it. You're gonna be biting into like some difficult pieces, like stems in your mouth. You wonder what is this? Is the stem from what you know, make? So I try to make one quart, so let's see if it's one quart, okay? And what I normally do, when I make too much, I freeze half of it, and that can stay in the freezer as long as you want to stay in the freezer. And for this, I think one month in your fridge, if you don't contaminate it. But if you contaminate it, it's going to get bad. Because say you're cooking, right? You put some in the pot, you stir the pot up, and put the same spoon back into the marinade. That's not going to work. Anything you put in, it got to be clean spoon all the time. So it doesn't, you know, contaminate it, all right? So as I say, one quart. Exact one quart. Make it look like I'm a genius right now. You know what I'm saying? Which you never know, maybe I am. In this life, you know? Never know, anybody can appear to be anybody. True story, all right, so. You don't want this to go to waste, so you want to make sure you get everything out of the blender, okay? Because it's way too much herbs, and most of these herbs, some of them is, they're not expensive, but they're fairly okay price, so you don't want to waste the herbs. You don't want to waste anything, so get everything out of the blender. And you probably wonder, say, your blender going to smell like um, onion. No. If you got a vi Vita, Vitamix, Vita Prep, whatever you guys call it, it won't because this kind of build for it not to keep the scent and the moment first what you do is rinse it out with some cold water get all the stuff out and then you put hot water in it because hot water starts cooking stuff and releasing more flavor out of stuff see you know, look at that one quart exact you see that right to the rim that's where you want it to be so any question let me know you know, I'm here for you guys anytime, and um, I can't remember the lady name, but I already tell her I was going to make it, so thank you for asking, and don't forget, watch the video, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, you know what I'm saying? We need your support on the channel, true story, and we appreciate everybody that support the channel, never go unnoticed, enough love and respect, yeah man. Hi. Thanks for watching the video. We appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Tell a friend. Subscribe, like, comment, share. All the above.